Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on, YouTube? Ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, just back here with a quick uh, quick piece of gear. Just want to share with you guys. YouTube, I just want to let you know that I'm in a safe, controlled environment. Uh, everything is go. Everything is safe. I'm by myself. And no one's around. As you can see, the firearm is unloaded. So let's get right into it. Well, as you can see, this is unloaded. Glock 29, 10 mil. I got a video coming up about 10 millimeter a little later. We'll get into that later. But getting closer and closer to moving this to my carry, everyday carry almost. But I'm waiting for that Glock 27 to come in. When that Glock 27 come in, yeah, you won't be seeing me carrying a Glock 19 too much. Because I want that 27, man, that 40 cal in the same configuration. Same size, same everything. 40 cal, man, I love that round. I like this round, too. But this is definitely going to go with me to Colorado this summer again. I brought the Glock 19 last summer, but I'm going to bring this this summer. But, uh, yeah, Glock 27. I can't wait to get that one. So, man, what I got uh, today is a... Uh, I was telling you guys about how I realized I didn't have a like go bag or whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it, go bag. So I ordered this thing right here uh, off of Amazon. Man, let me back up real quick. Let me tell you, I got a, little, I got a beef with, with Amazon. Y'all know I have a beef with some people sometimes. I'm getting kind of fed up with Amazon. You know how we got the Amazon Prime, right? I mean, if you've been noticing lately, they starting to try charge you for stuff. Or say, hey, if you spend twenty more dollars, you can get this free shipping. I, I thought that was the whole reason why I had Amazon Prime. You know, what I'm saying they're getting a little shady now, man. They, they after COVID, they, they made so much money during COVID, and now their britches are getting too big for themselves. And you know, even the model of just like ordering shit when don't pay for shipping, I kind of knew when they started that that was kind of a hoax. Like I'm like, how is that going to be a, a, a great business model? And you don't even charge for shipping, and now all of a sudden here they are backtracking starting to charge people for shipping but yet they set like company records uh, margins of uh, profit uh in the last couple of years but now you're going to come back and try to attack the people who made you become a, a big you know tycoon i guess that's kind of par for the course same thing with mcdonald's is doing they all these other people use everybody lured them in on cheap rates and cheap product prices and now all of a sudden they're getting it back man so anyway that's my rambo on amazon they get on my nerves let me know what y'all think about that, though, Amazon. Y'all noticing what they're trying to do now with the shipping and all that kind of stuff. But uh, here's the little bag I ordered, man. I think this is a pretty cool bag. Uh, it's going to be kind of like a hiking bag, go bag, uh, kind of versatile, really. I didn't want to get something really, like, camouflage. Like I said, guys, I'm not really trying to do all that camouflage stuff because – in emergency situations, that I mean, people are gonna think that you got a lot of stuff with all that camouflage, or think you military and all that. I just want to kind of blend in a little bit. Uh, this is by, I don't know, this is a Chinese made bag. Probably I don't know who made this thing. Made in China, that's for damn sure. Pit cag, whatever, what the hell that is. But I, I saw this thing it had the little reflective straps. I don't know if that'd be good if you're trying to be stealthy. You know, one unreflective, but you can always just block that out with tape or whatever uh but like i said it's gonna be like, like in the car for the most part i'm gonna have this in the car and uh i don't know what all these damn straps they got on here they got molly right here looks like uh yeah molly a little bungee cord thing i guess you can pack something up in there like a little <clears throat> sleeping bag or a roll or something a mat or something like that maybe you can put right here in this spot so you got that going and you got this hook i guess you can hang some stuff that's what caught my eye is how many little spots you can put crap at. You know, all these damn straps right here. You got that one. Well, let me just take all this off. because This is kind of confusing me, all these damn straps. Let me see. You got that, all that. Um, like I said, it's only going to be in a card. I'm going to have it mainly for, like, I'm going to have, you know, IFAC in here, water purification system up in here. You know, I'm going to have... Uh, things of that nature, water bottles. Man, that's a big ass cavity, huh? 
yeah, that's pretty deep. You know, maybe a spare change of clothes or something just in case you get wet or a little fleece jacket or something, waterproof rain jacket. Uh, this is the slot they advertise where you can put a computer at. I don't know about all that. You can stick a laptop up in there or iPad or whatever. Um, yeah, you got that big ass cavity right there. Just throw a whole bunch of shit up in there. A whole bunch of stuff up in there. And you got this. Maybe you can put water bottle on the side. More Molly. Another one of those. A lot of support on the on the uh, shoulder straps and stuff. So it looks pretty good. Thin enough so where you can wear it over something. Back support. That's a lot of compression pad right there. You can see that. That's that's gonna be comfortable. And you got the lumbar strap right here. Yeah, that's good to have. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, like I said, I didn't want to really all tacked out and all that crazy. Like I said, I'm gonna throw. Put those stuff like this up in there, and, you know, water purification system. It's just gonna be thrown in there. There ain't gonna be no like organization. I'm gonna have uh, all kind of stuff up in there. I'm gonna put things that kind of like a, a you know, like I'm gonna put flashlight, uh, not just a pocket flashlight. I'm gonna put a big flashlight. Well, not big, big, but big enough to like you know, handheld flashlight. And I'll put, like I said, I'll put a uh, some uh, what do you call it? water purification system up in there then i'll have uh let's see what else i got you're gonna have definitely first aid stuff like that up in there you'll have that you know have a little small compass you know phone charger system you know flares glow sticks you know uh, um glow sticks um you know, change of socks, all kind of stuff like that. And then I'm going to have some uh, MREs and I'll have a little camping, little stove thing I'm going to put up in here, like a little camping thing and have that up in there too. You know, a bacala. Like I say, I know a nice little warm little jacket, stuff like that. So that's going to be kind of like, you know, a situation where my car broke down and I'm on the side of the road or something like that or some shit just popped off and I can't move. They, you know, the police said everybody got to stay here. You can't leave. The freeway's blocked off. We don't know when we're going to have it cleared. There's a big spill. Not necessarily shit hit the fan in the world end, guys. It's more like emergency, like practical infrastructure problems, like, you know, pipeline break or something. Now you got to leave your house and all this. And then if I had this whole bag built out, spare clothes, underwear, socks, you know, jacket, rainproof jacket, like a poncho or something like that, purification, water purification system, water, ba water bottle, um, you know, first aid kit, IFAC kit, kit, flashlight, headlamp, uh, knife, a little, you know, like a little camping knife, maybe a little multi shovel type situation if I have to dig something out, and maybe a sleeping bag, a sleeping roll here, and you just have it like near the bag and a little small uh, three person tent. They, they're, they're not that big, actually. You'd be surprised. A three person tent is almost the same size as this bag when you roll it up. Especially the ones I get, the I get the REI tents with the quick setup poles, like you know, set up my old school poles you see on the Great Outdoors, John Candy vacation. They all these damn poles, and you know they got some, they got some now. Just boom, pull one big stick out, whoop, pull another big stick out, whoop, and then put the tarp on it, boom, and you good. So let me know what you guys think, man. Like, comment, subscribe. This is my uh, little setup bag, uh, go bag, whatever emergency bag, and uh, I think everybody should have something like this, man. So let me know what you guys do, do if you have one, what you think. Uh, like I said, it's not necessarily the end of the world shit at the fan. It's just practicality in case you were in traffic. Or like I said, the best example was like if you're on the freeway going somewhere and all of a sudden you see this CHP and, it's, and they, they've got it all blocked off. And then you they say, turn on to this radio station. They say, hey, you, you're going to be stuck here for two or three hours. It'd be nice to know that you got some, some food, you know, emergency situation. You know, you got some food, you got some water. And that's why it's good to keep a pallet of water in your car. And stuff like that, you know, maybe put a beanie in there, some gloves, some nice warm gloves or some hand warmers that you get. So that's what I got for you, man. I just want to share that with you. Let me know what you guys do or do you have a bag set up like that? And definitely in the comment box, let me know what you got inside of a bag if you got something like that. Uh, like I said, I got this bag off Amazon, very budget price. I don't need nothing spectacular. Um, I like all the hook attachments because you got carabiners, you can. Like I said, you can put the sleeping bag underneath here and wrap it, boom, and have that hanging at the bottom. 
uh yeah man i like this bag man it's it's it's, it's, it's good and it's waterproof actually uh, now I wouldn't just throw this thing in the water like in the ocean or nothing, but I think if you if it rain, it says that it'll just resist the rain water, like you know, not a constant drip. And then you have these straps right here too. So it's a lot of places you can latch stuff on. So I'm gonna figure it all out and do another follow up review. I'm gonna stock it up real good so you guys can see how I look. You know, like multi tool in there, fire starter, things of that nature, man. So it's gonna be pretty cool. And like I said, you know, it's just something. Like I said, it's not, gosh, man, I ain't trying to repeat myself, but it's not always shit hit the fan. It's like, if we live in a metropolitan area like I do, uh, it's, it's a strong chance this could just come in handy just for a traffic, you know, bad traffic, or like I said, a freeway getting shut down, stuff like that. That's what I think it, it, would, it would kick in at. Um, I'm not so much concerned about she hit the fan because she hit the fan. You're going to need more than this damn bag to get you up out of it. So, you know, just, just simple stuff. Uh, like I said, this is a little fire starter. I'm going to put things like this up in there. You know, like, again, you never know. You got your fire starter. Uh, I haven't even used it before, but I know, I know how to use them, you know, just, you know. And so, you know, just stuff like that. Just some practical emergency stuff that you, you never know what you might need. It'd be nice to have all that stuff kind of in there. Uh, that's pretty much it, man. Let me know what you guys think. Eyes and ears tactical. Like, comment, subscribe. Everybody stay blessed. Peace.